Hey guys, I wanted to make a video here checking out the changes for the Nexus 5 on Android 4.4.1. This update came out yesterday. It is only a point release, but it is kind of a big update. There's loads of improvements to the camera. It's got a new kernel, a new baseband, and it also has a new radio. So there's quite a few different things that have been updated here. You can see the build number is different as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. So the first thing I want to talk about is the camera. Now, as far as I know, these changes to the camera are specific to the Nexus 5. I don't think you're going to get these changes on the Nexus 4 or the Nexus 7. That kind of makes sense considering they have different camera modules. You can't just blanket an update and it'll fix all the cameras for all the Nexus devices. They're all different. So this is just for the Nexus 5 right here. And the first thing I want to talk about is the launch speed. Now you can see I haven't got anything open. I haven't got the camera open. Just look how fast this launches. So yeah, you can see there quite a bit snappier than it was on Android 4.4. We'll try that again. Definitely feels like it loads the camera a little bit quicker than it did before. It's also been improved from the lock screen. So let's test that out. Swipe over from the right. Slight pause there, but again, that is quicker than it was on Android 4.4. Before it would kind of pause on that initial load, it wouldn't actually go straight into the uh, camera app. This time it does, you can see. Boom, straight in there and then it loads up the camera module. So again, a pretty big improvement in terms of the camera app opening speed. The camera software has also been pretty drastically improved on the Nexus 5 and by that I don't mean the aesthetics of the app. That looks the same, it functions the same, it's got the same features. What I mean by that is your contrast is going to be improved on your shots, you're going to have quicker focus time so you can uh, easily get a shot in focus quicker and the frames per second has been improved on the video recording. There is some other stuff like improved white balance and stuff like that but yeah let's go ahead and test this out so you can see I haven't got the camera running. We're going to see how quickly we can actually take a shot of my Nexus 4 here from a cold start. So you can definitely see there the focus time is quicker and we'll check out the shot here. And yeah, it is in focus. Now this was very much hit and miss on Android 4.4. Sometimes it would take you, I don't know, two or three turns to get an in focus shot. That doesn't seem like it's gonna be the case now. Now by no means it's not perfect, but it is a lot better. And let's just, uh, let's just mess around with this and see what we can do. So you can just see how quick it was firing off the shots there. If we actually look at them, that's in focus. That looks like it's in focus. That's in focus. And so is that. So yeah, that was all the shots I took were in focus and that was pretty, pretty damn quick there. So yeah, the focus time has definitely been improved. That is something that's pretty major. It's a shame I can't show you a before and after with Android 4.4 and 4.4.1. The Verge did a really good piece and it definitely shows some improved white balance, improved contrast. And overall, it's just taking much better pictures on Android 4.4.1 than it was on 4.4. They've also added a processing animation to the HDR Plus mode. You can see that here. If we take a shot, you can see it's got that little kind of loading bar inside the focus ring. Now it doesn't just look like your device is frozen, it actually looks like it's doing something. So that's a nice little addition there. They've also changed the default app when you swipe over from the right when you're inside the camera. It's no longer the gallery. You can see it's now Google Plus Photos. You can see that there if we tap back, it'll open up Google Plus Photos. Not really a big deal. Some people are not liking that, but it's fine for me. Now, although the camera improvements are nice, that actually wasn't my biggest problem with the Nexus 5. My biggest issue was this loudspeaker volume. It was really quiet, and thankfully Google has fixed that with this update. If you watch my full review, you'll see me have it on half volume in the YouTube app, and it basically doesn't make any sound. Now, if we load up the YouTube app here, and we play this video. Now, this is on, you can see, around 30 to 40%, and I can hear this, half volume, is actually a decent volume now. You can actually hear it. That was pretty much zero volume on Android 4.4. Maximum volume, it's pretty decent. Now, it's by no means the loudest loudspeaker out there, but it's much improved and now it's pretty much a non-issue on the Nexus 5. So thanks Google for finally fixing that one. They've also fixed a number of bugs. One of the main ones being the status bar bug. If you've used the Nexus 5, you'll know what this bug is. The status bar is meant to be transparent on the Nexus 5 and on Android 4.4, I don't know exactly what caused it, but sometimes when you received a certain notification, the bar would look more shaded and it would just look out of place. It wasn't transparent anymore. Well, I've been using this update for a day now and that problem hasn't come back. So it looks like it is fixed in this update, which is a good thing. They've also changed a few other little aesthetic things. For example, the icons actually line up 
exactly now. There was one that was slightly out. I can't remember which one it was. It was only slightly out, but that's now fixed. They've also slightly changed the settings icon. You can see it's got an extra ring inside there. Very slight, but it is different. And they've also renamed, if you go into display here, the bit, the section that said wireless display is now called cast screen. No idea why they changed it. It's the exact same setup, but they changed it to cast screen. Maybe people were getting confused. Who knows? That's what they've done. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that they actually updated the kernel version with the Nexus 5. And what I've noticed about this kernel version is it has a higher input boost. And I can show you this in CPU Spy. Before, when you touch the screen, it used to boost your input to one gigahertz. Basically, that's Project Butter. That's how it works. It just doesn't drop below a gigahertz when you're touching the screen to give you a smoother performance. Well, you can see here that's hardly being used now. And what's being used more is 1.267 megahertz, 1.2 gigahertz, basically. And that's the new input boost. So when you touch the screen, it's now going to jump to 1.2 gigahertz, which is going to make your device a little bit smoother, a little bit more snappy. We'll have to wait and see if there's any impact on battery life. But so far, I really haven't noticed much. So, yeah. Now, there's a few other changes that I probably haven't mentioned or I've probably just missed. I think one of them actually being that the LED now flashes faster when you have a notification. I haven't verified that. I actually use Lightflow, so I wouldn't be able to tell you anyway. But that may be an addition there. I'm sure there's some other stuff that I've missed. But this update is pretty important for the Nexus 5. It fixes a lot of the problems with the camera. It fixes a major problem with the speaker. So, yeah. Peace out.